their topic needs to relate to a theme. Last year's theme is what we're showing you. So those are triumph and tragedy. Everything in some way relates to triumph and tragedy. You'll notice that they're not related to each other at all. This year's theme is a new one. It's breaking barriers in history. We start our meetings next week and some kids have already gotten a jump on it and already have chosen topics and are doing research. Others are just getting started. Well, the first party of every month, we have first party fan fundraiser where we bring in celebrity bartenders and we raise for a local charity, and tonight we have the National History Day contestants, the White Lake team, that are going to be competing and trying to go all the way to nationals. And with us today we have uh, Jan, she's our, she's the coach for the White Lake team. Basically, this day started out as a program so that kids could say, well, why do we need to know about history? Because most people said, oh my goodness, if you have in the past, we don't need to know about it. It's like, yeah, so what? We do care. Because things that happened 100,000 years ago influenced what we do today. Yeah, we have 20% of the proceeds of everything that's bought tonight. So people are buying books, they're buying food, they're buying wine. That's 20% of that. And then we have big tip jars on the bar that are used for donations for people. We always have trivia on Monday nights, we have jazz on Thursday nights, we have eclectic music, the acoustic oasis is playing tonight, they just play once a month here. So we have music on Friday and Saturday nights. We have knitting groups, uh, and then especially for uh, November, we have a author jamboree on the 30th, it's Small Business Saturday, and so that's when we really encourage people to come in. We have specials on buying books and things like that, and we have probably about a dozen local authors that will be reading some of their stuff from the stage and taking turns, so that's, that's a great event. 